now the conclusion. Okay, welcome to the exciting conclusion of the uh, spot welder uh, series. I've received all the spot welders I've ordered. We've got a couple new ones to test and this will be probably the last video I make on this. Um, the BFRIC, um, BIFRC is the reigning champ so far. I have thrown a couple of MOSFET coolers on it because um, the only issue it had is it does get a bit warm during use. So I've thrown some coolers on the MOSFETs, but really this is the reigning champ so far. Um, it just works great and really can weld the thicker stuff, no problems, and, and it's great. Um, this is the, the spot welder from the previous video that I wired wrong. And I have, um, I did receive, an, I did order another one, and I have tested it, and um, I'll actually insert that video footage in a second. Um, um, so there's that one. Um, this is another one from a previous video that I do like and, and it's not bad for maybe some smaller spot welding jobs It's not quite as strong as this one, but it is pretty good and the interface is pretty nice on it So this one is is you know, maybe the, the runner-up at the moment And then this is another brand new one. I have it's got six MOSFETs um, It's a pretty simple board, but with with six MOSFETs it might be pretty good So we will test that one in a second. Well, um, so, let me cut to the footage of this one, and then I'll test this one. Okay, so let's talk about this board. This is another purchase of the same board that you saw me blow up in the previous video um, because I wired it backwards. So, I bought the board again. Now, um, this is um, already a slightly different revision. And that's something I've noticed with buying these PCB spot welders. I think this is about my 12th or 13th PCB spot welder. If you, even if you buy the same board again, you might actually receive an up, a changed design. And this does look slightly different. Um, but the layout is the same. So let's talk about how you set this board up because I, got, I, can, I, you know, I screwed it up on the first video. And some people... Um, misinterpret what some of these things do. So let's talk about this board. This is the positive. Your battery positive will go here and your um, positive spot welding needle both go on this terminal. Um, this is the battery negative and this is where I screwed it up last time. This is your battery in goes on this side and then the battery negative travels through the MOSFETs and comes out on this so your negative spot welding needle comes out on this uh, on this leg here so in here out here um, this is just an on off switch this sets your delay the more you turn it clockwise the larger the delay when you're spot welding and this is your power level um, to the right is max power you know clockwise is max power anti-clockwise is less power there is this power jack and a lot of people kept saying that you need to put power in on this power jack this is not a power jack this is a charging jack this jack is used for charging when you have um, super capacitors attached to this pcb this pcb is originally designed for use with super capacitors and you have to recharge supercapacitors, and this is a charging jack for the supercapacitors. It is not a. It is not. Does not use. It's not used when you're doing the spot welding, the actual spot welding. So, that's the board layout. Let's let me attach the leads, and then we'll do some testing with it. Okay, I have the board wired up here. Um, battery negative comes in here. Spot welding needle goes out here. Um, and then your positive in and out go on this terminal here. Um, let's attach a battery. Okay, and the light has come on and there's actually an on off, the on off switch. Um, I've turned it off. The light is still on because of the, the capacitor is holding the charge. Um, but I think the light will go out if I, once you turn it off. Yeah, the, the LED is dimming. And... There you go. The light, the light is out. So in the off, 
it shuts off the board in the on turns on the board you can see the led is on let me set let me set um the this these these things here i'm going to put the delay um a little less than halfway and power uh, we might as well just go whole hog and kind of put it close to max power and see what it does. Um, now, I'm not going to spot weld directly on onto a battery since last time this blew a hole in a battery. I'll start by folding over a piece of nickel and just doing some spot welds on an old piece of nickel. And let's see how this board does. So here we go. First, first spot weld. I'm going to zoom in for you. All right, let's see how this thing does. Uh, interesting start. Let's uh, let's try that again. That was terrible. Let's do that again. This, besides that bit of a blowout, which is just carbon, these are some of the weakest spot welds I've gotten out of any spot welder. I mean, this might be the worst spot welder I've bought, period. For all its 12 MOSFETs, this thing is a joke. Um, didn't even, didn't even, didn't even begin to fuse the nickel. I mean, look, it, it barely scratched the surface. Um, I do, what I am going to do quickly is um, I want to uh, clean up the needle tips a little bit um, just to make sure the needle tips are fresh and don't have any carbon build up on them. You do build up a little bit of carbon on the nickel on the tips. Okay, that's one. Okay, let's try this again, but first impressions were terrible. Let's do this again. You can hear it does click, but um, it doesn't even do anything. This, like I said, is easily the worst spot welder I've bought. Um, which is a disappointment because I've bought it twice now and it has the most MOSFETs. It's got 12 MOSFETs, six on this side, six on this side. So, you know, unless I've gotten a faulty board, um, this thing is a piece of junk. Now, um, and it is wired, it is set up correctly, um, um, but this thing, and it is firing. It, it does, it does send a pulse. But um, the pulse is a joke, and I'm I am almost on max power. I'll turn it the other way, just you know, just in case somehow it's wired backwards. But same same useless spot weld. Basically, this thing is this this power meter is doing nothing. Um, so yeah, I mean, unfortunately, unfortunately, this thing is absolutely useless. And uh, let's okay, let's check out this board. Um, you know, it does have six MOSFETs, um, so it might have potential. Um, I noticed they didn't even bother to install the speaker, which is fine because um, you know, like this one beeps every time you spot weld, which is kind of annoying. Um, so without the speaker, that's actually I'm okay with that. Oh, I lie. They did send the speaker. Um, they did send the speaker in the bag. So I guess let me install the speaker just so we can hear if it's annoying or not. Okay, um, I installed the speaker so we can hear if it beeps. 
and I have wired this up correctly. It's a ground in here, ground out here, and your positive in and out on this tab. So this one is set up. Let's plug in the battery and let's see how this uh, spot welder works. First, let's check the interface. Let's see what the button does. Okay, so this has the exact interface as this. It is literally the same interface, even the same, probably the same chips. So it's um, power levels one, two, three, four, five, and then off. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's on the highest power level. I got my good spot welding needles on. Let's get a couple batteries and let's see how this goes. Okay. Put a piece of nickel. This is 0.15, the thicker nickel. I like, you know, I do all my testing with the thicker stuff just so we can see if these spot welders are any good. And let's see what happens. Pretty good. Um. <laughs> Yeah, these are pretty positive spot welds. Let me zoom in for you. Um, yeah, these are pretty, pretty, pretty good spot welds. Um, not as powerful as the BIFRC, but they're nice, clean spot welds. There's nothing wrong with those spot welds. I'll try to rip off the nickel in a second, but uh, these are these are decent spot welds. Nothing wrong with them. Okay, let's, um, let me grab a pair of pliers and try to rip the nickel off here. Yeah, it, it tore, it tore through the, it uh, tore a hole in the, in the nickel as it tore off. Um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with these spot welds, really. Um, um, I'm pretty, you know, there is nothing wrong with this spot welder. This is all right, let's try it with some 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 nickel on nickel, which is always harder. Um, a little bit of tearage, um, not bad, not bad. You know, not 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 didn't really tear the nickel, but it put up a little bit of fight. Um, okay, so conclusion on this spot welder: this spot welder and this spot welder are identical. Same interface, although this has six MOSFETs. It I feel like it's it's welding the equivalent of this spot welder, and I like the spot welder. This is my second place spot welder, no doubt. Um, so this is also going to be a tie for second. Um, these are just good, simple spot welders um, that are fine for smaller batteries and, and maybe the, you know, they do do 0.15, but really, you know, I'd be comfortable at a 0.12 or a 0.10. You know, if I was building smaller batteries, um, there is nothing wrong with these. These are great spot welders. Um, um, I'm happy with them. Unfortunately, they just don't hit like this spot welder. So, um, the conclusion is this spot welder wins by a long shot. It has the best interface. I like the interface the best with the different colors and, and representing the different um, power levels. Um, it doesn't beep when you spot weld, which is nice. That kind of gets a bit annoying when you've got a few hundred to do. And then this thing can just spot weld whatever you need to. I mean, it just, um, it spot welds through the big stuff, the thin stuff, you know, nickel on nickel. This thing just has the power to, to spot weld whatever you need. Um, um, so, you know, since these all cost the same, 
Um, ironically, this might actually be slightly the cheapest of the spot welders. Um, these are all low $20, and I feel like this was right at $20. I mean, they're all about the same, but ironically, this may almost be the cheapest, and it's definitely um, spot welds the best. But remember, this is a solder interface. You have to solder on your leads, and you will need a good soldering iron. A, a basic soldering iron cannot put enough heat to weld on some like 10 gauge wire. Um, you need a strong, you know, soldering iron to to solder on the leads to this. But um, this definitely wins, and uh, you know, let's just finish off with some beauty shots, and then we will call it. All this testing complete. Um, here is some fresh nickel. Let me zoom in for you. Oh, I need to, I haven't even set my power levels yet. That was let's go around 50% power. But even that first spot weld on the lower setting was was easily as equivalent of of this spot welder. Yep, those are some deep, hard-hitting spot welds. So, yeah, this um, you know this spot welder just it just wins. Yeah, yeah, tore tore the nickel, tore all the spot welds, um, when I ripped it off. Um, yeah, so. The conclusion everyone saw coming, the spot welder wins.